Hey. Hey. Have you heard of the philosopher Plato, from ancient Greece? Well yeah, everybody and Nobos, has heard of him. Hey wait, is he the guy who wrote that story, the allegory of the cave? Yeah. It is, amazing. Will you tell me the story? Of course. Okay, so the story starts with a bunch of guys tied up and shackled in a cave. Whoa, say what? Why are they tied up? It does not matter. They are prisoners, let in Dopo's essay. Anyway, suppose these guys are tied up for 10, 20, or even 50 years. Their hands are tied, and their faces are shackled so they cannot move their heads. Wait. I saw this movie. There is a camera and instructions and one guy has to saw through his leg to get the key, right? No, you are thinking of saw. Oh, I know. Was Hannibal Lecter there? What? No. Are you? Just, no. 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 And there were no monsters or robots or oryx in the cave, either, as I was saying. Year after year, the prisoners can only stare at the cave wall in front of their faces. Now, the door to the cave is behind the men, so every time the wind blows a tree or an animal walks by, they can only see the shadows on the wall. Does Plato untie them? What? Plato is not there. What about Gandalf? Just shut up and listen to the story. Year after year, the prisoners see only shadows in front of them. This is their reality. This becomes their reality. Suppose, Plato says, one of the prisoners suddenly escapes. He runs from the cave, screaming with delight. But suddenly, he encounters actual reality. He realizes that the shadows he has looked at for decades are not real at all. Whoa! What a total mind freak, man! Now, Plato says, that free man has a moral problem. Should he go back inside the cave and free his friends? Well, duh, that is easy. Of course he should free his friends. And maybe bring them a pizza, too. Maybe it is not so simple. If the man frees his friends, they will have the same mind freak that he did, about reality. Plato is asking us a question about morality. Is morality really a black or white paradigm? Or are the answers more subjective? Is the moral decision to give your friends freedom if it ruins their minds? Or is it more moral to let them be blind to the truth if the truth will hurt them more? Wow. I should have drunk a Red Bull before listening to this. Plato does two things in this story. He makes us question our own morality. And, he makes us examine the very nature of what is real versus what we just perceive to be real. In actuality, Plato is setting the stage for existentialism in great philosophers like Kierkegaard and Nietzsche. This is why Plato is one of the most famous philosophers in human history. Wow, what a great story. You wanna go get some pizza?